हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल फिजिक्स बाय आई आई होप यू आर डूइंग ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड हियर इन दिस चैनल वी आर लर्निंग एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग फिजिक्स फॉर cracking exams as well as cracking the interviews so today i will discuss about the career opportunities after msc in physics this is our 100 video and we have crossed 1000 subscribers successfully within one and half months so thank you so much my dear friends that um, uh, you make our uh, videos successful and also please watch this video a uh, full video for your own benefit so let's start the careers after msc in physics will be um, uh, you have taken i hope that you all have taken some of you have taken bsc from physics or some of you have taken bsc uh, or btech in electronics or btech in engineering physics so you have another options but i am today uh, i i am discussing about the those per students who have done their bsc and msc and after msc what will be their career opportunities so surely there will be more, i mean most of the people uh, will go for the phd in physics so phd in physics so doctor of philosophy can be in applied physics can be theoretical physics can be in experimental physics like bio and any other like it can be in biophysics it can be in thermodynamics it can be in nuclear physics phd in kinematics phd in solid state phd in thin films so there are many other options you can enroll phd here in india as well as in foreign universities like europe or in usa so uh, after i mean i shall discuss here for in our can, uh, country first then i will discuss about the foreign countries the phd process so for the here the phd process uh, we uh, you can have two uh, you can choose two paths one from the direct phd exams qualifying exams like gate jest csi and net tifr or you can um, come to phd position by project position many of the universities um, uh, they uh, give project positions and they take students and then they enroll them as a phd student so the choice is yours so for the phd you must qualify from my suggestion that you should qualify at least gate or net or jest uh, i mean net means the grf csi and net grf or tifr exam during your msc to be a safe site or to be in a safe position so from gate many institutes like iits and bark uh, they will take students for the phd jest many institutes research institutes like sahan institute of nuclear physics uh, bose institute uh, bark also tifr also uh, and many other igcar and many other institutes just go to the jest website you will see that the many number of institutes will take the students uh, their phd student from jest exam then also csi and net uh, you can apply if you ha uh, have grf fellowship you can apply uh, uh, many research institutes as well as iits as well as universities for the phd position and tifr also they have their own entrance and also they take students from high gate higher gate scores and from good jest scores okay and you have another option that most of the people don't know that you can have a msr msr this is a ms in research okay and this is kind of a mini phd after msc you can go for msr degree msr degree is Uh, offered by iit delhi in solid state physics okay the uh, process will be through your get score and also the mtech you can pursue mtech degree uh, so if you have uh, i mean if you don't have very good uh, score in get like most of the people who have done their msc they don't go for mtech they go for phd because two masters degree they think that okay why should i choose two more years to get an a phd degree rather they usually choose phd so the people who don't have very good get score in physics i am telling you that you can uh, apply for the mtech program okay because mtech program it's a very good opportunity that you can study 
in iits and from after your mtech degree you will get lot more opportunities to go to foreign countries for your phd degree and also in india also you can stay here and you can get good opportunities or good research environment in iits also there is a very good option that you can pursue your um, after msc you can pursue another msc in medical physics and you will get a job of medical physicist okay so there are also some post msc diploma the diploma is in uh, jadavpur university that is diploma in medical physics or you have another options like college lecturer assistant professor for assistant professor you need to qualify you need lectureship or set exams and uh, for you can become a lab technician lecturer in government and private colleges also polytechnic colleges also degree colleges also and if you have msc plus bed you can go for the higher secondary jobs like pgt tgt and also you can have jobs in drdo isro bar SSPL, Space Application Center, IGCAR, VCC, NTPC, ONGC, BHL, BHEL. So technical jobs in research institutes like PRL, Ahmedabad, SINP, Kolkata, NSC, New Delhi. Are you strong in programming? Then you can also apply for the software jobs like software engineer, network administrator, IT consultant, security expert, Java developer, system support administrator, interface engineer. So now I will discuss about if you want to pursue your PhD from foreign. So if you typically in Europe, what you need, you need a language certificate in the form of IELTS or TOEFL. So if you have a, a good academic record, or if you have a good project, or if you have good experience or research experience in your during your masters or bachelors, the, and with a uh, <coughs> with a TOEFL. Uh, certificate that is language certificate then you would join a PhD program okay you don't need any other exam to be cracked for PhD in Europe and most of the US universities they ask you for GRE and TOEFL as well so you need to crack both the exams uh, to be enrolled in PhD for PhD program in a US universities so, but this is not mandatory for European, including G UK and German universities. So, I will thoroughly discuss about the medical physicists. So, what does medical physicists do? Medical physicists actually use a variety of analytical components like um, their work such as radiotherapy, X-ray therapy, nuclear magnetic resonance ima um, imaging and other uh, radiation, uh, I mean the medical um, medical field uh, so like cancer like some diseases they usually they can be treated with only with the radiation so uh, for this purpose we need medical medical physicists so these are the universities where medical physics in uh, for the msc degree uh, will uh, i mean is going on that is here please see this the these are the different different medical physics programs that is going in our india so this is the medical in radiation um, msc in radiation physics msc in medical physics uh, diploma in radiological physics okay a diploma in medical radioisotope techniques it is in uh, bark okay these programs are going on in bark and also Department of Physics and Anna University Chennai, they have Medical Physics MSc degree. Bark Mumbai also Diploma in Radiological Physics, Diploma in Medical radios, Radio Isotope uh, Techniques, Diploma in Radiation Medicine, University of Calicut also MSc in Radiation Physics. So graduates in MSc Physics can easily avail of technical jobs both in the private and public sector. Some of the common job positions are or profiles for a physics enthusiast are online tutor, college lecturer, assistant professor. These are common. But you, uh, what you don't know that are the observation scientist uh, and also the uh, research anal uh, analyst, assistant uh, scientist, physics training manager, software engineer. I told you, network advisor. I told you, and also you can apply for jobs in aerospace and defense. 
automobile it and software railways nuclear renewable energy oil gas electronics and telecommunications and manufacture sector now another thing that uh, many of the people want to get um, a job after msc so i would suggest you please uh, take as uh, the specialization subject as electronics so that if you have high good um, get score you can have direct um, certain good jobs like um, in bark in ongc in bhel they usually prefer electronics people okay so please um, you can uh, think of, of taking the specialization subject as electronics now another very common exam that is the upsc uh, for the physicist people physics people that is the geoscientist or geophysicist exam and the this is a combined exam for the geologists and geoscientists the national criteria is the national um, citizen of india or nepal or bhutan or some uh, tibetan from refugee of um, before 1962 so the educational qualification that you must have uh, msc degree msc in physics degree okay for the geo geophysics post now how to become you have a general question that can i get uh, can i become a scientist in isro after msc yes you can you can get recruited in uh, into isro as scientist or engineer by one of the following three ways isro recruit some freshers in campus drive from some iits nits or complete your be or btech uh, degree or otherwise you can get, go to isro by cracking the exams their their exams and interviews okay and also some people question me that uh, how can i be a scientist in nasa so to be hired as a nasa scientist you need a minimum of bachelor degree in physics astrophysics astronomy geology space science or a similar field with a master degree or a phd however you will start at a higher salary so friends this is yours that whether you are going to uh, do a uh, phd or you are choosing job but uh, uh, for finally you have the very b different options of choosing physics and get job getting job so hopefully you like the video if you really if you find the uh, video helpful please like the video share our channel and also subscribe to the channel and share to your friends thank you